Wings of Hope Equitherapy with my equine therapy partner, Sherlock. Sherlock and I are going to show you how to groom a horse today, aren't we? Yes, we are. So while grooming Sherlock, the first brush that I'm going to use is called a curry or curry comb. This is a rubber brush, um, has little rubber knobs on it, and it is used in a circular motion to get all of the dust, dirt, grime, dander up out of Sherlock's coat. I'm going to pick this one and show you how it's done. This brush is used on the neck, chest, shoulder, barrel, back, and rear of Sherlock in a circular motion just like this and as I'm brushing him I'm keeping this opposite hand on him the whole time so that he knows where I am. I'm also staying nice and close to him. So as I go the whole way around I'm going to keep my hand on him and stay nice and close and I would do the circular motion the whole way around until all of that nasty is up out of his coat. See look at what that brings up. That's pretty gross. The next brush I'm going to use on Sherlock is a stiff brush. This brush can either be made out of coarse hair or out of nylon. In this case, it's a nice hot pink nylon. And it is used in a sweeping motion in the same direction as the hair. Put my hand on Sherlock so he knows I'm here. And what this does is it gets all of that dirt and dander and grime and hair that I just got off of Sherlock with the curry. It just sweeps it all off. So I would do this in the same areas where I did the curry on the neck shoulder, chest, back, barrel, and rear. The final brush for Sherlock is a soft brush. This brush can also be made out of a softer nylon or softer hair. In this case, it's made out of hair. And it will be used in a sweeping motion just like the stiff brush. This brush can be used on the head and legs as well. They're a little more sensitive, so we want a softer brush for it. What this brush does, it, it's also called a finishing brush. It finishes the look of Sherlock. It takes off all of the little tiny pieces of dust and gives them a nice shine. I'm going to use this in the same direction as his hair on his face as well. And while I'm doing his face, I'm going to look at his eye and make sure he doesn't have any crusties in there. If he does, I'll wipe them out. If I need to, I'll get a damp rag and wipe his eyes with a damp rag. So this brush will do the whole way around, down on his legs, keeping my hand on him at all times to give him a nice shine. brush we're going to use on Sherlock today is going to be on his mane and tail. This is a mane and tail brush, has some nice stiff bristles on it, much like one of our hair brushes. When you're doing his mane and tail, you want to be real careful, especially with his tail, to not pull out too many hairs. If you think about it, a horse's tail is its only defense against flies, and you don't want to rip all that hair out. So we're going to come up to Sherlock, put my hand on him so he knows I'm here, and just start brushing in the same direction as the mane that the whole way up the mane. I'm going to put my hand on him as I go back here to the tail. And for the tail, I'm going to start at the bottom, brushing, and then slowly brush out the tangles. Now the tail you don't have to do every day. It's something that you can just do once in a while if you want to, or you can take your time and do it each day and just slowly go up the tail. This is one of very many handy dandy hoof picks that's on the market. This one has a nice metal hook on it and a brush to brush out any debris to pick up Sherlock's hoof. I'm going to start with my hand up here at the shoulder, run my hand down his leg. With my right hand, I'm going to cradle his hoof. I'm going to ask him to lift. I'm going to cradle his hoof and pick out the feet. Set it down gently. Hi, Sherlock. Yes, I got your foot. Keeping my hand on him, go to the back foot, run my hand down, pick up his foot, cradle it with my other hand, and gently 
definitely set it back down. I'm going to take the camera into my hand now to show you the inside of the hook. of you of you if you are the one picking the hoof. I'm going to run my hand down, ask Sherlock to lift it, and then we're going to get in all these crevices and make sure they're all clean. We would brush that out with a brush and set it down gently. Good boy, Sherlock. <laughs>